read your Bible, I'm going to read from Scripture, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Okay. Let me see that. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Before we read, could you tell to the person beside you, I'm glad to see you here today. Amen? Amen? Could we say that again? I'm glad to see you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Alright, so if you're already there, we're going to read about, uh, as I've said, our uh, month series for the month February would be confidence. Okay? Confidence. I'm always spreading. Confidence. Okay. I'm spreading. Confidence. So let's all read. I would like to everyone to please stand up while we're reading the Word of God. You can read in front, or you can read with your Bible, okay? Okay, it says here, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, let's all read, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So we use this first, uh, this uh, uh, version of Amplified Version. The one in your uh, in your Bible says there, both okay, let us let us come God's throne boldly. Okay? But this one says with confidence. So let's bow our head. Father God in heaven, Lord, our prayers to you, God Jesus, that you open up our heart, oh God, and our ears, that we're able to hear your word, oh God. Awake, awaken our hearts, oh God Jesus. Awake us, oh God Jesus, Lord. And let us uh, be able, oh God, to receive fully your word for today and able, oh God, to have confidence in the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody say... Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. So, I'll put up a tire. You can sit down. Again. Uh, sit down. Relax. And don't sleep. Okay. Sit down. Relax. And don't sleep. Okay. So, as I said, our uh, uh, topic for this uh, month would be confidence. It's a long series. Okay. So, confidence is a popular subject today. Do you agree? Confidence is a popular subject every day. Okay. If you don't have confidence, then it's hard to move. It's hard to go outside if you don't have confidence. If you don't have confident, confidence in yourself, you're looking at the mirror, oh, you're not, you, you don't look good enough. Or you don't, you're not enough to go outside. You know what I mean? So confidence is a popular subject every day. Okay. And we are told to think confidently. Okay. Do you remember your parents telling you, be confident? And have you heard uh, your parents or your teacher, your professors always tells you, be confident, you can do it, you can do that. Be confident. Have you heard that before? If you, if you haven't heard that, I'm telling you, be confident and God is telling us, be confident. Amen? Be confident. And also, we want our children in their school, in their work, or if they're in competitions, okay, that be confident. Kaya mo yan. Siso lang yan. Kaya mo yan. Have confidence, okay? Have confidence, okay? So how many times, as I've said, how many times you heard that someone told you or uh, say to you, have confidence or be confident? Be confident. In whatever you do, be confident. How many times you heard that? How many times you heard your parents told you about that? Now, be confident. I am How many times? How many times you told it to your brother or your sister? I am You can do it. You can. How about this one? I have one here that maybe you're familiar. Okay? You're familiar about this one. You're familiar about this one, especially with Venus. And you can this one. You know, all of us. We're being familiar with this one. Try to read this one. Okay? Try to read this one. Okay. Let's all read. <laughs> I am right. Do you remember who said that? Miss Universe Pia. Miss Universe 2016? 15? Oh, it's fast, really fast. Miss Universe from the Philippines 2015? 2016? I think 2016. It says, she says, I am confidently beautiful with her. 
kanta, no? It's beautiful with a heart, okay? Because somebody mumula ang confidence. Where it comes from? That's the confidence that does come from your head. If it comes from your head, it's boasting, okay? It comes from your heart, and the heart, you know, where is the heart? You know, who's in your heart? It is God. It is Jesus that you have your confidence in Him. Amen. Yeah. I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Okay. Let's go by. I searched in Google. What's that? Uh, what his? Uh, what his message? What's her message? Okay. So many people and most of Christians have confidence, right? Most of us we have confidence. Do you agree? Yes. Amen. But many times it's not enough. Many times our confidence is not enough. For example, in work, school. Uh, in everything you're gonna do in the first step, sometimes you don't have enough confidence. The Bible says that there is a reward for confidence. What's the reward of having confidence in God? What's our reward? Of course, all we know, we all know, what's our confidence in Him is our salvation. Amen. The promises of God, His promises. We have, we are confident that God promises to be answered. Amen. A lot of times, people have confidence in the wrong things. What? Why do they say in the wrong things? For example, people have confidence in unreliable things. What are unreliable things? What are the unreliable things? Like fellow humans. Okay. Sometimes we put our confident, confidence in fellow humans. Right? We put, uh, we put our confidence in, in our work, in our school, in our certificate, in our degree, in our finances, in our wealth, in our family. Right? We put our confidence in them. As it says here in Philippians 3, verse 3, it says there, We rely on what Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus has done for us, and we put no confidence in human effort. Amen? So what? Our confidence, most of us will say, I have self-confidence. I have self-confidence. But our title of our message for today is God confidence. Right? Our confidence comes from God through focusing on God and stays on God. Amen? Our confidence is in God alone, in His Word. That's why I said, please bring up your Bible. If you have your Bible every day, or if you're reading His Word, you are confident about His promises. You are confident about His Word, that it is true. Amen? Aside from having confidence or building our confidence, we have to grow this confidence in Him. And how are we going to grow this confidence in Him? We have to know His Word. We have to read His Word. We have to read His Word. The confidence in God's Word is so powerful, unshakable, it means solid. Okay? If, you're, if your confidence is in God, it's, shake, it's unshakable. Amen? Our song a while ago, it says, there, My, uh, Your name is higher, is greater. My hope is in You. Meaning, our hope for the future in our life that we're not seeing right now is in Him. Meaning our confidence is in Him. Amen? That's why our title of our message today is God's Confidence. I have here four reasons, four reasons of lack of confidence. Four reasons why Christians are lacking of, con uh, so, uh, of confidence in our, yeah, in our life. Our confidence in God, okay? Number one, identity. Okay? Number one, write down identity. Four reasons people lack confidence in God is number one, identity. Why, ident why identity? People lack or don't know who they are. Or people, or as Christians, sometimes we don't know who we are. Last month we said that we are children of God. We are new in Christ. We are ambassadors. Right? So we are His children. Sometimes we forget. If there's, some, if there's a light throws at us, we're forgetting about who we, we are 
in Him. We forget that we are children. Oh, ano pala ang Diyos? Sometimes happen muna natin. Sometimes we forget about who we are. Number one, identity. Who am I? If you know who you are, if you know who you are, you know what your father could, could do, could provide for your needs. Amen? As it says in John 1, 12, as most of us knows about this, but to all who believed him and accepted him, he gave them the right to become children of God. So number one, if we are children of God, then we, we should not lack of confidence in, in him. But to all who believe. Now we're saying, okay, I'm a children of God, but this is the, this is the Lord telling to us, to all who believe and accepted him. If we haven't accepted Jesus, if we haven't believed in his word, and if we already believe, have His Word, but not believing on what He can do to your life, what in kaya niyang gawin sa ating buhay, sometimes that's the problem. That's why wala tayong confidence in Him. Amen? So He says there, we have the assurance that we are legitimate. God gave us this authority that we are legit. We are legitimate children of God. To all who believe and accepted Him, Gave him, he gave us the right to become children of God. Amen? We are new creation. We are new in Him. Amen? Number two, experience. Experience. Naputo lang. Just cut out. Experiences. Number two, experiences. Sometimes, our confidence in God is lost because of our experiences. What experiences? What experiences? Experiences of failure in relationship, in work, or life makes our confidence in Him nababawasan. Okay? Nawawala. Our trust in Him ay nawawala. Sometimes we're saying, okay, I surrender. I, I don't want to try anymore. I lost. Amen? Last week, I think last week or last two weeks ago, me and my wife were watching uh, TNT. Okay? If you have TFC, okay? if you have TFC, a uh, uh, show in in the Philippines, Tawag ng Tanghalan, okay? one of the contestants is singing. Okay? He joined the singing contest. Okay? And one of the one of the judges, uh, gong him. You know, like, uh, stop him. So, means that he's no longer able to compete the semi-finals to the finals. He no longer. And then I said to my wife, it seems like he lost his confidence. He's confident. Right? He lost it. Because he think that uh, he thinks that he could do it, but then those experiences he could lose it. Okay? So while we're watching that one I said to my wife, uh, hopefully okay, that this person right, able to get back what what, what had lost to, during that time. So sometimes we sometimes our experiences of failure in our relationship, work, and in our life or past that's the cause of lack of our confidence or yung sa yung ating sa Number three, background. Background. Number three, background. Family background. Okay. Family background. Example, if your family background has a weak okay, or a slave mentality, sometimes that's what we're saying, okay, this is what we grew up. Okay, ito lang. Okay, this is it. Our, your slave. And that's why sometimes we're, we're thinking in ourselves, okay, this is what I'm going through as well. Being a slave. Okay. No. God has given us a better future. Amen? Like what we, like Apostle says, Apostle Paul says in Philippians 4, verse 13, it says here, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Amen? So, those experiences, those backgrounds should not affect, uh, affect our confidence in our God. In, in God. Amen? Number four, attacks. What attacks? Attacks of the devil. Attacks of the demon. 
sometimes unfulfilled dreams can make people lose their confidence in God. Do you agree with that? Sometimes our unfulfilled prayers will cause us to lose or to lessen or to lose our confidence in our God that He's able to provide, to provide for, our, for our needs. So there's a tendency of losing confidence when you're experiencing delay in your prayers. Do you agree? Sometimes, Lord, Taga, Lord, when? When are you going to answer my prayer? But the Bible says in Jeremiah 17 verse 10, it says here, But I, the Lord, search all hearts and examine secret motives. And I give all people their due rewards according to what their actions deserve. Sometimes we're praying, Lord, this is our prayer. This is my prayer. This is my, uh, my plan, Lord. But God searched our hearts, our motives, our intention for that prayer. And He's the one who will give if it's according to His will. Not our will, again, not our will, but God's will in our life. I have here lack of confidence in God means lack of anything. Hashtag salvation. Which is more important. If we have, don't have a confidence, as I've said, we're going to talk about more about confidence uh, for the month of February. This is just like an introduction about our series for this month. So lack of confidence in God, lack of anything. Hashtag mainly our salvation. Okay? Mainly our salvation. That's more important thing. Being, Christ, being a believer of Christ, we should, uh, we should have confident in God that He saved us, that He redeemed us, that He is our Lord and Savior, that we have eternal life through Him, through Jesus. Okay. Amen? It says in Isaiah, verse 13 and 15, it says, it says they're only in returning to me and resting in me, Will you be saved in quietness and confidence in your strength, but you would have none of it? That's why I'm telling you lack of confidence, lack of anything. If we don't have confidence in our God, who He is, then we're lacking of anything. If we don't have confidence of what we believe, if we don't have confidence of what of who we accepted. <coughs> then we're lacking anything. Amen? Most of the Christians are very convincing. Most Christians are very convincing. Do you agree? No. When you go, when you tell, when you tell to someone, your classmates, your co-workers, about who is God, who is Jesus, do you have the convincing power? Or do you, are you convinced that what you're, what you're presenting is your God, is a real God. So most of Christians are very convincing. I have uh, an example in one of our brothers here. Okay, I would like to use him, if you agree. Okay. I would like to uh, example one of our brothers here. And he is very convincing. He is very convincing and he is convinced. I would like to uh, uh, say about, uh, tell about our brother, Brother Donnie. Okay. He is very convincing. If he goes to your house, into your house, he's very convinced, and he's convinced about what he's offering. I mean, because if he's not himself, is not convinced, then he's not able to convince others. Amen. So I believe when uh, he says to me, "Yeah, I'm convinced with this that what I'm offering, what I'm, uh, what I'm uh, helping or trying to help the each family, I'm convinced me myself and my family that this is it." Amen. So as Christians, us, all of us, if we're going to represent God, we should be more convinced that they're able to convince by us. Do you know what I mean? So meaning, in short, in short is, when you're convinced, you are likely to be more convincing. Okay? If you're convinced, you are more likely to be more convincing. Amen? So if you are if you know who are you going, who are you representing, then people will be more likely to convince about who you're, who you're saying. Amen. 
Also, Jesus said, He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And He declared it with authority. He said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. So he, he is convinced that He is the way. He is the only way. He is the truth that we are searching for. And He is the life. Our life in Him. Amen? He is convinced. And we should be convinced. He is the only way. No one. No other way. To go to the Father. Amen? Without confidence, we cannot defeat the enemy. Without confidence, we cannot cast out the devils. And lack of confidence is to be unsure. Okay. Again, I have this one when I'm making this uh, message. I said uh, about Brother Don. He said to me, I can't forget that one. He said, I'm convinced about this one. That's why me and my family, we put our trust in this. He is fully convinced. Of course, if he said that he is fully convinced, then, of course, whoever is uh, talking to, to someone, they will be convinced because he, he himself is convinced. And just to tell you that me, myself, I'm convinced that I have eternal life with our God, with our Lord Jesus Christ who redeemed us. Amen? That's why I said every time, Lord, is it time for me? Okay? <laughs> Last time, next, this week, I'm going to, uh, this week, I'm going to Edmonton. I'm going to write, I'm going to, not to write, I'm going to, uh, uh, in another plane again. Right, right? I'm going to write another plane. But I said, Lord, if I'm in the airplane, if the, if, if the airplane crash, I know I'm convinced that I'm saved. I'm not saying that, you know, but I'm just telling to myself. <coughs> Without confidence, we cannot discern the will of God. Do you agree? Amen? Without confidence, then it's hard for us to discern what the will of the Father of Jesus Christ in our life. Because we don't know who we are. That's why number one, we said that lack of confidence, number one, is our identity. But God is reminding us, every one of us, that we are, you and I, are children of God. If someone says, I am a son of God, who is the son of God? Who is the son of God? Jesus Christ. Okay. There is one in the Philippines that is saying, He is the son of God. If someone says that He is the son of God, it's a false prophet. We are children of God. The Son of God is Jesus Christ. Amen? We are His children. And the Son of God, that we are, through Him, we will be saved, is only Jesus Christ. Not only, not to that Son of Man, not to that Son of God, that that guy, that person, is saying in the Philippines, okay, that I am the Son of God. Amen? We are His children. He gave us the authority to become His children. Amen? Without confidence, we cannot discern the will of God and the victories He has for you. He has for us. If we don't have confidence in Him. Without confidence, we cannot be on the offensive. Because we don't know how to, what, what's our resources. But if we know who we are, if we know who our God is, we know how to, to fight, how to to have the, uh, to have our uh, on the offensive. This one. Demons don't respect people that are not confident or bold. Do you agree? Just to uh, tell you before, when I, before, we, before I became Christian, before I believed in Jesus Christ, I heard this one when I was in a Roman, when I was a Roman Catholic. They said, even the demons don't, uh, don't panic. When, when you pray, when when I pray, when I was, if when I was as a Roman Catholic and have a and don't have a relationship with God, who's here before as a Roman Catholic? Amen. This is this is what the practice before. Okay, we have the rosary. Okay, and I forgot that. Okay, I forgot that. That there's a state. Uh, how many? Okay. There's five, five mysteries. There's a uh, you know that you have to pray. And when I when I was a young people before I met my wife, amen. Before I met my wife, which is the one who God used uh, for me to to know uh, uh, to know him uh, or to 
uh, accept Him. Amen? So there is a, a, the demon, if you're praying out of just, just this, uh, out of just, uh, uh, what do you call that? Ritual. Sometimes it's becoming ritual. Even the demons don't get panicked about their prayers. So after, when I, when I, when I became the believer of Christ, okay, I'm sorry if I'm talking like this because I didn't sleep yet. Since, since yesterday. So I'm awake almost 19 hours now. Okay, so that's why I'm kind of like this. So anyway, so when I was, uh, when I became a believer of Jesus Christ, I said, now I have the power because I know my prayers is being connected with God. God hears my prayer. Amen? God hears our prayer. It is connected through Him. And I am the children of God. So without confidence, we cannot be, the demons don't respect people that don't have confidence in them. Even Jesus Christ casts out, cast out demons. Amen? Because He is confident. Heal the sick with authority. Same is given to all of us. His children of God. Amen? We are His children. Could we claim that, Lord, I am your children. I am your child. Without confidence, we cannot go into new territories. Do you believe? Amen. Because if you don't have confidence in God, what He's able to do to your life, into this church, then we cannot go and we cannot step farther. Amen. I believe that God is doing amazing things, greater things in this church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Soon. Amen? Soon. Amen? Thank you, Lord. With confidence in Him. We cannot start something new without confidence in our God. In short, lack of confidence in our God means we are nothing. We cannot do anything. Okay? Without our confidence in Him, of who He is, of who is able to provide, who what His authority, His power, who He is, He's the Creator, then we don't know who we are. Amen? As Psalms 18 verse 29 says, For by you I can crush a troop, and by my God I can live over a wall. Wow. Amen? For by you I can crush a troop, and by my God I can live over a wall. Amen. Praise God. Amen. <coughs> for this confidence that God has given to each one of us. Our confidence in God will put us over impossible situations. Sometimes it's, it's impossible, but we're saying, no, there's nothing impossible. For, for with man, it is impossible, but with God, nothing is impossible. Have you heard that person or your brother and sister talking to you that? Sometimes you have a problem, no, it's, it's hard. It's, no, you can't do that. But if that brother and sister told you, no, stop. My God, our God, everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. Amen? If here in our church, okay, here in our church, okay, someone told you, stop. Everything is, is possible with our God. He could move. He could make this church, okay, every one of us, to move to another level, okay? Amen? Just a game of my son. Praise God. I'm thankful. I praise God for the life of one of our sisters here. For the life of one of our sisters here. Saying and reminding me that this is what God can do to our church. This is what God can do to each one of us. So let's put our confidence in Him, not in human, not in wealth, not in education, not what we have, but what we have is in God. Amen? I'm telling you, if you put your confidence in your wealth, if that wealth, if your business, if your job, if your education, whatever, ano yung matapos mo, it's still useless. It is only God that can move you day by day, that only God can move you step forward. You know what I mean? 
It's only God. That's why our title of our message for today, for the first week of our February month series, Confidence, is God's Confidence. That we, Lord, it is you first, then I'm having my confidence because it is you. God is in front of us, okay? Our Lord Jesus Christ is in front of us, whatever our circumstances, okay? Our prayers, Lord, it is you. I have confidence in you. Not in me, okay? Not in my, our pastor, not in our brother and sister, not in our wealth, in everything that we have. No, in our confidence is in God. Once we have God in our lives, we have everything. Amen? Once we have God, our confidence, our trust in Him, we have everything. But sometimes, we put our confidence in our wealth. Okay, it's still enough wealth for a year. It's still wealth. Uh, we still have money in the bank for another day, for another week, for another month. No. Let's put our confidence in our God. In Him alone. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Education, whatever degree that you finish, is useless. If, if it's not God confident, if it's self confident, we will fail, but our God will never fail. Amen? Our God will never fail. Hallelujah. Confidence can be misplaced or gone. Do you believe? Confidence can be misplaced or gone. Oh, so, my English. Confident can be misplaced or gone. You know how? If our, again, if our confidence is in those things na nawawala, na hindi panghabong buhay, not eternal. But if we put our confidence in God, who is eternal, okay, hindi na bubulok, not, not rotten, not yet. Hindi na English. Okay. All right. So if our confidence is in our money, position, education, man, or church, sometimes you know, sometimes most, some some of the people they put, okay, I'll go into this bigger church because I think this is the best church, and they will provide for our needs. They will provide for the word that we're asking for. No, I'm telling everyone, if you want to grow, read the word of God. Don't focus on the pastor or to the leaders about how you grow. It is your responsibility. It is you who will read the Word of God and the Lord will, will make it grow. The, uh, the seed in your heart will make it grow. It is the Lord who will make it grow. Because sometimes you will say, Lord, where, which church I'm going to? I'm going to this church, which is bigger, okay? Which is this one, okay? But pray, pray to God where He wants you to be. Okay? But sometimes if we put that our our... Confidence that, okay, I will grow in this church. Okay, no, it's wrong. It is you, it is your responsibility, it is our responsibility to read the word, to talk to him, to have communication with him every day, bread prayer, every day, every minute. Amen? Amen. That's why I'm telling you right now, if you want to grow, read the word of God. Okay, I'm only here, I, uh, God is use, uh, using me, my family, and everyone who here to encourage one another. And I'm his servant, same as yours. We are all the same in God. Amen? But to, to grow in him, let's all read the word of God. Amen? As it says in Proverbs 25, 19, I don't know if it's here. Putting confidence in an unreliable person in times of trouble is like chewing with a broken tooth or walking on a lame foot. Right? If we put our confidence on those things, our money, okay, I'm telling you, even though you have millions right now, million dollar right now, that money will be gone soon. Even though you have highest degree, that degree is useless. You cannot bring that to heaven and say, I have a highest degree, I have a PhD, and you should accept me. Amen? It says here, chewing. If we put our confidence in unreliable person or unreliable things in our life, okay, chewing is like chewing with a broken tooth. It's hard to chew like a broken tooth. It means you're not accomplishing anything. You're not doing anything, right? Or walking on a lame foot. How are you able to walk properly if you're lame? Amen? So we should 
God speak to each one of us to my brother and sister. God is looking that we put our confidence in Him. God didn't bring us here in Canada to put our confidence in the wealth that we have right now. God didn't bring us here so that we're able to acquire more wealth. Okay? But God bring us here so that because of the confidence that we have in Him. Who's looking for a job right now? Who's praying for their finances? And who's praying for their uh, help in the family. Put your confidence in Him that He is able to, to bless you and give it to everyone. Amen? Amen. In His will. That's our prayer. Lord, Your will be done. Not my will, but Your will be done. Amen? As I always remember this one. When Jesus tell to God the Father, Lord, if it's Tagalog, right? Tagalog, in, in Tagalog, He said, Lord, but if it's your will for me to have this, your will be done. Okay? If it's your will for, for me to have this, your will be done. Not mine, but yours. So when, every time we have a prayer, me and my wife, my heart is, Lord, your will be done. Not my will. Because sometimes if it's our will, wala pupunta. Now, some of us were saying, how about we have confidence in our in someone? It's hard, okay, it is difficult. It is difficult not to have confidence in man because we are always relating with fellow human. Is that right? Sometimes it's hard to put our trust. But God, again, God is telling us okay, in Philippians 3 3, we rely on what Christ Jesus has done for us and we put no confidence in human effort. Meaning, we truly, our 100% focus, our confidence is in God. Amen? We're almost there. It's past. I think this is the past message I have, I have for today, for this month. Is it Justin? Is it? I'd like to read this one. Okay, all of us. I'd like to read this one from Psalms 118, verse 8 to 9. It says here, It is better to take a refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. In short, it is better to go to our God than to anything that we have. In short, everything that we have is useless. But what, we, what, what we're not seeing is eternal. So we should focus on what we're not seeing, which is eternally our God. Amen? Don't focus about things on this earth. Focus about what we have eternal, eternally. Amen? Our confidence comes from our relationship with Christ. That's why once you are a believer, you know Jesus Christ, you accepted Him and believe, believe in Him, you start the confidence in you. Okay? Yes, I know. I'm a son of God. I'm, I'm a children of God. I know who am I. Okay? When we put our trust in God in His revealed Word, our lives takes on a new stability. Our new life has a new focus. It's in Him. I would like to call for Sister Ali. That's our own message for now. Lastly, we put no confidence in our flesh. A reminder to every one of us, we put no confidence in our flesh. But we have every confidence in the Word our Lord Jesus Christ, who made us, who called us, saved us, and sustained us. Amen? I would like to read this one again in our verse for today. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. A reminder to all of us. A reminder to all of us, I believe that it is Him who wanted this message to be brought to each one of us about our confidence. Because sometimes maybe we're focusing about what we have or what, what we already have. Right? But God wanted to remind us that don't focus on the things that here on earth, but focus on Me. Focus on what can I, I can provide for you. Focus on Him. 
let us then approach God's throne of grace. Of grace. Meaning, it is not us of what we have done, but it is Him of His grace. With confidence. With confidence. Because we are His children. Imagine if your children of God are going are coming to you, Mama or Nana and Tatai, would you buy me this? They have they are confident in you that you're going to buy them. No, no, no. Sometimes it depends on the budget. But truly, this is the thing, right? If you are children, if your children are asking to you for specific purposes, and you know their intention and the purpose of that one, you're going to provide everything for your for, for your children. Right? Amen. The Bible says, the Bible tells, the Bible tells in Matthew, even us, the parents, are able to provide for our children how much more our Heavenly Father, right? How much more our Heavenly Father, Father is able to provide for what? For our prayers. If we, the parents, are able to provide for our children, imagine that. Imagine Okay. How much more our Heavenly Father won't provide for us? If we, human, able to provide for our children, how much our Heavenly Father He is able. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. God confidence. Okay? God confidence. It's God confidence. We have confidence in Him. And I have a small, I have, I have a short prayer for all of us here. Only this one. Lord, help me to develop my confidence in you. Again, let's pray. Lord, help me to develop my confidence in you. In him alone. In him. Not on human, not on the things, not on these buildings, not what we have, but it is God. I believe God's plan in this church, in Window Scotia. It's a better, better purpose. A new level. Believe me. Amen. Not believe in, believe in God. Amen. Because I believe, I, I believe in Him that He has a better plan for this church Amen. for each one of us. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's bow our head. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We give you the glory of God, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Lord, we don't deserve, O oh God, Jesus. But we deserve everything because we are your children, O oh God. We made righteous by our, our Lord Jesus Christ who took our sin at the cross. Thank you, Father, Lord Jesus. Lord, help me, help us one of us, all of us here, and all of my brothers that are here, to develop our confidence in you alone. In the name of Jesus, everybody say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah.